So I need a, t a PC test bench. And looking online, there's a lot of different companies that sell them. Some of them go from $100 to $200 for decent ones. And then the cheaper ones you get for like 30, maybe 50 bucks on eBay. And I've read a lot of reviews on them and they don't have good reviews. In fact, they're really cheap. People complain about them breaking and not getting the job done. I don't like the design. Praxis and Lee and Lee have one. They're real nice, but I ain't got $200 to spend. Um, I've seen some other ones for $100. But like I said, I don't feel like spending a ton of money on a test bench. So I'm going to make my own. Now, typically the easiest way to do this is get a motherboard box, pop this on here, run your cables for your power supply, all that jazz, take a hard drive and cables and there you go, throw that on there and then find some cheap graphics card and, you know, pop that in there and, you know, let's get, make that look a little more official. You know, there you go. And you got your, t uh, your PC test bench. Yeah, that's okay. But then the cleanup and part swap, it's kind of a headache and I've actually move these motherboards out of place and I don't know I just don't like doing that I think it's cheap and I think I could do something better cheap go figure so I'm gonna take the motherboard box idea and I'm just gonna make it better in my opinion at least so what I'm gonna do first is this is a cheap dummy old 64 x2 athlon whatever I don't even know what it is anyway it's an old cheap computer system that's out of service extinct will never use and no purpose for it. So this is gonna be my mock-up motherboard. It's full size ATX. Uh, what I decided to do is take this motherboard box from my Asus Z370 Strix, and we're gonna spray paint it, hook it up, do whatever. So I decided I'm doing, I'm gonna take the motherboard box, I'm actually gonna put it this way where it opens up, let's see if I get it right here, this way. Inside, I'm actually gonna take the hard drive, this right over here, I'm gonna Velcro the hard drive right over here like that, close it, and then once I close it, I'm actually gonna take standoffs and put little holes where I could actually screw in the little standoffs and actually screw in my motherboard, like that. The standoffs I'm gonna be using are these brass ones that I have just lying around over here, so if I get that in an angle. They're a little longer than typical standoffs, but they also come with a nut that I can actually screw them in, and then I could just take uh, regular screws and screw down the motherboard, and I'm gonna actually secure it to this lid right over here. You know, this motherboard is actually pretty tough and durable, but like I said, going for budget. So I'm not gonna spend a ton of money on this. So that's gonna be my idea. Then what I'm gonna do is instead of like shorting out the two pins to turn on a motherboard or a computer, I actually got this on eBay. Let's see if I get this in the shot right over here. I got this on eBay for like, I don't know, five, $8. I'll put links in below to all this junk that I bought. And what I'm probably gonna do is drill a hole and pop it in right over here where I could turn on the motherboard like that, so I have my little power switch on here, which I think is pretty cool, because that's all I need. This has a uh, power switch, LED, and just power switch button. So that will give me my power switch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill another hole and run cables where I can run my SATA. Let's put this right over here. Run my SATA right here, and just drill it in there, and just run it to the SATA hard drive right over there. So I'll have my cables in there, it'll look nice and clean. I know it looks not clean and crappy right now, but I promise when it's done, hopefully it should look better. If not, then this would be a fail. But I think I got an idea in my head. So that's one idea. The next um, plan that I plan to do is the power supply. Typically, let's see if I get this off right over here. Let's get this popped in properly. All right. I apologize again for this camera angle thing, if it looks jittery or anything. I'm trying a different stand now, so hopefully this one's a little more stable. So my idea for the power supply, what I plan to do, is actually, I want the power supply to kind of be part of this. I mean, I could Velcro the power supply to the motherboard box, and that might work, but I actually want to be able to lift this thing as a unit, throw it to the side, work on my next computer, or whatever. So what I plan to do with the power supply is actually to take it this way, mount it to this, and mount the little base to it, real cheap and effective. Take these wires, drill a hole on the side over here, run the wires through the side and run them up over here and then just tuck all these excess wires that um, I don't need. Yes, ketchup, mustard cables, yuck, but 
you know, it's 60 watt, uh, 650 watt, 80 bronze, power supply, Antec. This is just for testing. All this is is just for testing parts, um, flashing uh, bios, whatever. So that's what I plan to do. So the idea I came up with this is that I have a whole bunch of these old um, Dell OptiFlex side panels that I don't use anymore that I've gotten rid of the case. So I'm probably going to cut, grind this off and cut this off right over here, pop this off over here. And then by cutting it like that, I'm just going to mock this up. See if I get that mocked right over here. So I'm gonna do something like that, okay? And then I'm gonna attach this metal panel, drill some holes to this box with some screws I got, which I got some screws over here. I was gonna do some wire tie setup, but that's too ghetto. We don't wanna be too ghetto in this video. We just wanna be a little bit ghetto. So I'm actually gonna use these screws and attach this thing to uh, this panel to this box after I cut it. And yes, this is gonna come off right over here. And then I'm gonna Velcro this right over here. Velcro this to this box, and that's gonna be attached like that. So even though it doesn't take up the full size, because this is only a small panel I have right now, this will actually hold. And then what I should be able to do is actually grab it by over here, take it up, put it away when I'm done with it, done. And by Velcro into power supply, if I need to test out a power supply or swap one out or even use this for another project, I'm able just to unvelcro it really nice and easy. So that's the plan that I um, planning to do to kind of get this thing as far as my cheap and effective motherboard test bench. So um, these screws, I got them at Lowe's, Amazon, Amazon, and I'm just going to use this. That way, if I damage anything, you know, ain't no loss because that stuff is just junk anyways. So that's the plan I'm going to do. So the first thing I think I'm going to start doing is, is I'm actually going to get the motherboard set in place and um, get that mount up. And I'll show you how I plan to do that. So we're going to switch to my head camera, this head mount for my GoPro. And that way you get a better angle of how I'm going to mount this thing up. So um, let's switch cameras real quick. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to line up the box, the actual lid box to the edge right over here. Don't want to go over because then my screws won't line up. And then I'm going to line up the edge to the front of the box, in this case, to the edge of the motherboard right over here. So I want to make sure these things are lined up the way I need them to be. Hopefully this camera angle catches it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to be a little better. And the way I'm going to kind of reference it is actually I'm going to take a cheap old video card that I have over here. And I'm actually going to plug it in right over here. Okay. And that'll actually help me get that in place the way I want it. So I want it close to the edge as I can. Okay. I think that works right there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, is I'm actually gonna take this ice pick and I'm actually gonna carefully mark the holes. Don't wanna make the holes too big because if I make them too big, then I won't be able to get it through. Well, actually no, because I'm screwing it through the bottom. So I don't care if the holes are too big. Okay, this will kind of give me the spot that I need to send those standoffs where I need to be. Hopefully this don't move too much. Make sure I got all my holes. Oh, see, I already missed one. So now that this is done, let's move this out of here. And hopefully I should see my holes. Hopefully. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take this. I got a whole bunch of different size standoffs I can use, but I think I'm just gonna stick with these. I'm gonna open this up. And wherever my holes are, yep, I'm gonna send them through. And they're actually gonna come out looking through there. And then what I plan to do for each one, hopefully this screw fits, yep, fit it in, and then I'll tighten it with, there we go, 
and that's my first standoff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just knock all these out. We'll fast forward to it because it's gonna be the same all the way throughout. And then we'll mount the motherboard and we'll see how it looks. So that works. So the motherboard is mounted and it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. And then I could open it up and my motherboard ain't gonna go flying out. So that actually worked out a lot better than I thought. So very happy with that. Pretty cool. So now I'll just leave the video card over there. Next thing I want to do is a power button. So I'm trying to get an idea. I'm kind of doing this as I'm going and I'm kind of winging it. So just bear with me. But I kind of want to mount it right over here. I think that would actually be a good spot. And I can drill it through there. And then I can have a hole for my SATA, one, SATA wires right over here. So I think I'm going to get a pencil. And kind of. Hopefully that gets a good camera angle. So I think I'm gonna drill a hole right over there. And then I'm gonna drill a hole right over here. And that way I can run my SATA wires through there to the hard drive that's gonna be mounted inside there. So let's go ahead and do that. I think this drill bit should be, uh, should be fine. Because if it's too big, if it's too small, excuse me, if it's too small, then all I really gotta do it's just kind of force it in. And I think, I think right around here. Start there. I can reach right now. That's going to be a little too small, but let's see if I can squeeze it in. Right, let's go ahead and go one more size. And if I drill it too big, I could hot glue again, hot glue gun it in, and that would actually work actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and make this just a. That worked good, I think. All right, that works out pretty good. Let's see, what we're going to do now is I'm going to just See if we get that in there right there. Bingo. So now we have a power switch for our motherboard. So it looks pretty good right there. I like the way that looks. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole probably right about here because I want my SATA wires, which this bit might be too small. There we go. Mm, yeah, let's do that. I don't want to make the holes too big, and then it looks funky. So 
I'll go ahead and drill right into the G. That was actually very nerve wracking because my fingers were right there, but I was hoping that they weren't there, so. There we go. That works right through there. This cable's broken, no big deal. So now, in theory, And of course, there's going to be some fine tuning and trimming and cleaning up and all that good stuff. In theory, I'm just going to pop these in just to pop them in. Okay, and of course, there we go. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot, in fact. So I got my power button. It's pretty cool. Got that right there, got that right there. That actually works out real nice, I like that. And then I'll feed in another cable through here, which we'll do that later. So, all right, pretty cool. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to modify this so that this can become my new tray. So I need to get this thing off, which I started a little bit. Probably drill it, it'd be easier. But this is more fun. There we go. All right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now we need to cut this over here, cut this over here, and cut that over there. So if I cut it this way and this way to get rid of the slip, or in fact, maybe I used a slip. I don't know, I got a couple ideas. So um, let me pause the camera for a sec. We'll come back and I'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I got my grinder, just to make sure it works. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this over here. I'll cut that right over here, cut this part off at least and get started. I don't need this thing to be perfect. I just need it to be somewhat practical. So let's see if we get this thing cut. Make sure that's not in the way. I don't wanna cut anything more than anything. actually kind of suck but it works uh, let's see okay I am gonna cut this piece off right over here primarily because I just I'm just gonna screw it and I don't think that's really gonna make much of a difference so hopefully this comes off easy and doesn't spark my face too much That worked out pretty good. Ugh. Okay, so we got that cut. Let me actually get a 
file over here. I don't think I have a good one. It's probably the wrong file, but it's fine. I don't slice my fingers. Okay. So now it's not sharp, so it won't cut me. So that's pretty good. Didn't want to get cut. Not a good thing. So now, let's go ahead and close this motherboard up real quick. My plan is to mount this power supply right over here because it has a little lip, which will be perfect. I actually cut it perfect to size. And I'll mount it right over there. And I'll probably end up cutting those things off. Not with that grinder, because that sucked. Okay. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So I'm going to measure. I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom. Once I drill the holes on the bottom, I'll be able to mount it to the board. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with that boring crap. So I'll come right back as soon as I'm ready to uh, screw this onto the board. Or the box. Okay, so I got my holes where I want to be mocked up. Uh, use that ice pick wherever I had and just hit it through the box to see. So I got one hole here, one hole here. And considering that the box is longer than this, I'm probably just gonna put one hole there and one hole there. So I just need to find something to help me make a straightish line, which that will probably will work for now. I'll probably put my hole right around here. I think that'd be a good spot. The same thing over here. Okay, so these are gonna be where my holes are and that's where I'm actually gonna mount everything onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill it with this drill bit. Um, I got a block of wood over here. That way I don't mess up my bench, my, uh, my bench over here. My parents bought it for me. My dad watches these videos and if I mess this up, he might get mad at me, so it'll be okay. So a little lube on this. And hopefully, drop one. I don't feel like going after it, so I'm just going to get another. Sorry for shaking you up a little bit. So now, this actually attached pretty good. I actually like the way that feels. I just gotta tighten those screws, but this is not the final assembly. In the final assembly, I'm probably gonna take this part, clean it, obviously, and spray paint it so it don't look as ghetto. 
And now my power supply fits right there. And in theory, I should be able to grab everything like this and move everything out. So that's actually pretty good. So that I like, that I like a lot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole in here, maybe cut a box. I don't know, maybe I got... You know, this might work. Maybe do a little smaller. Yeah, I'm gonna drill a smaller hole in here. Yeah, and then I can send all those wires through there. Let's go ahead and switch out the bits of my drill, move this out of here. Should be perfect. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yep, that works. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole over here and that's where the wires will come out. So we're gonna do it this way, cause, you know. So now I got the holes for the wires to come in, come out, come through and come over. So that I like, that I like a lot. So I'm gonna Velcro the power supply right over here, run the wires through, run the wires up, and then I have everything plugged in. I'm gonna put Velcro in the back. So um, I'm gonna actually pause this video right now and I'm actually gonna clean this up, take this apart, spray paint all this, and um, I'll show you the final product of how it looks. And then I'll probably do a separate video of putting my, um, whatchamacallit, putting my bench computer that I used to test together on this. So, all right, let's go ahead and spray paint this. So I did a bunch of work off camera, um, did the spray paint thing. What I also decided to do was to kind of reinforce this area over here. I just took some uh, cardboard from some old boxes I had lying around, cut it, and then um, just put some screws in there. And that kind of just made it a little stronger and just glued this part over here. So. It wasn't weak before, but I figured why not? I mean, couldn't hurt to enforce this, right? And then over here where the hole that I cut for the um, <clears throat> for the power wire, I went ahead and put a slit over here so I could actually open and close this when I want to when the motherboard and power supply together. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, the spray paint that I used was this 
oil rub prongs. I don't know. It was cheap. Worked out pretty good. And then for the back, the hole that I actually used for the SATA and power switch initially, I just went ahead and just made it bigger, just make life a little easier. So all in all, it came out pretty good. Spray painted the bottom pan over here. I didn't do the bottom because you're not gonna see it, so I'm not too worried about that. So that's where we're at. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm actually gonna pause and um, I'm probably gonna do this video in two parts. Um, part two, I'll actually put this thing together and set up my test bench and introduce my test bench. And then, um, you know, we'll show how that final, um, the final kit looks like. So uh, if you wanna see part two, like, subscribe, um, hit the no notification bell so you can see uh, when part two comes out. Um, any questions, concerns, put comments in below. And hopefully this comes out good and everybody enjoys this build. So um, stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching.